Okay, so here we've got the Mega 65 uh, first revision prototype PCB. We can see I've got the, uh, the patches, patch cable on here for the lack of pull-ups on the disk drive port. Uh, but what we're interested in today is international soccer on cartridge. So we'll just start by turning the machine on to our monitor. Now what you see in fact is that it takes longer for the monitor to uh, get its act into gear than it does for the computer. It's already showing a ready prompt by the time you actually see a picture. Uh, and this is pretty common of modern monitors we're finding. Uh, so here we've got a reset button. So that does what it, uh, we expect it should do. And again, it'll come up within a couple of seconds. So let's turn the machine off. Put international soccer uh, into the slot. This is a little bit hard to do one-handed. Right, so now we have computer with a cartridge. Turn it on, wait for it to start up, and there we have the starting panel for international soccer. I can't remember the blasted thing that we have to press or whether it does it by itself after a bit. I'll try plugging another joystick into the joystick. Oh, no, here we go. It's decided to wake up. So you can play this. There's a little bit of a glitch with the sprite rendering. They're getting an extra byte. I think it's actually the 64th byte of each sprite area. Uh, we're in the process of sorting out some glitches with the sprite rendering at the moment. Oh, here we go. Of course, we've only got one joystick plugged in at the moment. So the opposition is not showing any resistance. Let's see, can we get a goal for the Mega 65? Yay! First goal for the Mega 65 running a cartridge. And that's it for today.